Well, a very good morning. Many thanks for subscribing to the Buzz UG. And uh, my name is Melad Milo, aka Fula. I'm back to keep you posted on what is happening in uh, the country. And uh, in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. I want to start with what's trending in uh, the entertainment industry. Now, Wizo Manizo's baby mama, Sandra Teta, has called upon Dr. Jose Chameleon's baby mama, Daniela Atim, and uh, Butterman's wife, Mama Ghetto, to step out of her family issues. She says, you guys, thank you for your effort, but enough is enough. She's going to handle her family issues. Hello, uh, my name is Sandra Teta, and today I'm here to talk about a few things I've been seeing on social media. And I'll start off by thanking everyone that tried to reach out to me to find out if I was doing okay and the uh, kids. Um, and secondly, I'll go on and saying I'm, I, I would really love to appreciate the efforts of Daniela Atim and Mama Ghetto. However much, I would kindly ask them to step down of my family issues for now because enough is enough right now because whatever campaign they're doing or whatever post they're doing are being run on speculations and rumors because none of them really bothered to call me and ask me what was really going on or even ask if i was doing okay because in this in, in in this context i would actually uh, uh, address uh, daniela because she's family but you know how do you start posting one post second post without calling someone to really know if whatever you're talking about is real or if she's doing good or if she's i don't know i don't know how you start posting that but other than that i would really really kindly ask them to step out of my family business and let me handle it as me sandra teta because this is my family you're talking about and another thing in this whole campaign you are bringing down the brand sandra teta i worked so hard to be who i am today and as well as weasel as well so I would ask. Oh yes, there you go. Uh, that is Sandra Teta, Wizo Manizo's baby mama. Very beautiful woman right there. I don't know what you guys think about Sandra Teta's reply to people who are trying to fight for her. Is she right to come out in this way? Uh, put your comment down in the comment section right there. In other news, uh, Ugandans have attacked Juliana Kanyomozi after DJ Nimrod expressed disappointment with the way musicians are advertising Juliana's concert that is yet to happen at Kampala Serena Hotel on the 19th this month. Now, DJ Nimrod says Juliana Kanyomozi never supports local artists in terms of posting their shows on her social media platforms. I want to quote some part of the statement from DJ Nimrod. She only posted Azawis cause Swangs is doing her show. I love an industry where we support each other or where we support those who support us. Yagala Akwagala. She doesn't deserve the support she doesn't give. Period. Now, many Ugandans have sided with DJ Nimrod. They are saying that even some time back, we had a lot happening in the country like police brutality, uh, torture in detention centers. We currently have issues like, you know, skyrocketing commodity prices. And uh, people like Juliana Kanyomozi have a very big following on their social media platforms. But you never hear them raise their voice for the common Ugandan. Because sometimes it's just about putting up something on your social media platforms and these people you call fans will know that you care about what they are going through. And it's very disturbing when you finally come out and request them to come out in big numbers and attend your concert. Yet for you, you seem not to be caring about what they are going through in their daily lives. And I think this should be a lesson to all the musicians in this country. If you see that your fans are going through tough times, please post on your social media platforms. You never know, your voice can change something. Uh, in Uganda, we have musicians who will tell you, I'm not a politician, so I don't talk about politics. My fans should love me for my music because I'm not into politics. But, my friend, you forget that politics is the life your fans are going through. So it's very inevitable not to talk about it. 
Anyway, that's it from Juliana's camp. Otherwise, I pray that her concert sells out at Kampala Serena Hotel on the 19th this very month. It will be this week. And uh, please go and support our legendary Juliana Kanyomozi. But this should be a lesson to all musicians in Uganda. A big section of Ugandans are not happy at all. Well, in other news... Uh, Ugandans, especially on social media, are in a very big shock after the CEO, Uganda Airlines, Jennifer Bamuturaki, revealed that she did not apply for that job, but the appointment came direct from President Museveni. Uh, Jennifer Bamuturaki says she was appointed on the same day she was going to apply. Another issue that has shocked Ugandans are the salaries these officials at the Uganda Airlines get. Uh, CEO, 87 million. Director for maintenance, 80 million. Uh, Chief finance officer, 73 million. Manager for finance, 58 million. Pilot, between 50 to 60 million. Human resource manager, 43 million. IT manager, 36 million. Manager cargo, 14 million. And then cabin crew member, 2 to 4 million. Hey, my friend, these guys are rich. <laughs> These guys are rich. Anyway, this story is trending so big time. But big up to Honorable Joel Senyonyi and his entire team for digging deep into the institutions of government. Otherwise, Ugandans have come to know that there's a lot going on secretly in this President Museveni's government. Well, I don't know what you guys think about this one. But in case you have anything on your mind, just put it down in the comment section. But most importantly, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melan. Milo, aka Fula. Thank you. <laughs>